This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. The website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we're going to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Aspire 5745 laptop computer. Now, uh, removing the screen is relatively straightforward, but there are some things you need to know about the screen so that you order the right replacement one. But we'll get to that when we take the screen out. So the first thing you need to do is take off the plastic frame around the screen, also known as the bezel. And for that, you need to remove two screws, one here and one here. These screws are hiding behind some plastic covers. So let's talk about the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a pair of metal tweezers, a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit, and a smaller PH0 bit, and an X-Acto knife blade with a sharp corner or just a razor blade. So first thing we need to do is remove the plastic covers from the screws and we use our razor blade to do that. And we take it off slowly. And what I like to do with those plastic covers is put them on the side of the screen so I don't lose them. Do the same for the second one, like so. And now the screws are exposed. So we reuse our pH one bit to remove the two screws. If the screw is stuck in there, it doesn't want to come out, we use the tweezers to take it out like so. And then we get to the second screw. Uh, this screw, second screw, is a little bit stripped, so when you first time you engage it, you want to use some force so you don't strip it some more. Okay, and this one comes right out. Once we do that, we snap the plastic frame off. And the way I like to do that is put my fingers on the screen side and gently start lifting up the plastic frame, like so. Okay, take your time on this, go slowly, try not to break it, even if you do, it's still not the end of the world, I've done that myself before, and just keep going. On the bottom, sometimes there's adhesive, and looks like where the hinge covers are, we have to lift it off, so if it doesn't quite go, what I like to do is look on the back and see what's going on here. Now you see the seams where the hinge covers are. What I like to do with that is use a razor blade to pry the seams open like this. And the same thing here, pry the seams open. And let's try again. So this time we're almost there the good thing about this one is it can be tilted back and going slowly let's see what's holding this up here and it comes off like so so we put the frame to the side and let's take a look at the screen. Now, this is called a slim LED panel. It's about half as thin, half as thick as what you find in most laptop computers. And the mounting holes are in different location. Usually for a panel, laptop LCD panel, the mounting holes are on the sides. But since this panel is so thin, they put tabs on the bottom and on top and mounted it from there. So what you do is remove the four screws that are holding the tabs in. And 
go one by one. One problem that I sometimes, not frequently, but sometimes run in is that not all screens have the tabs at the exactly same location. They might be off by a sixteenth or a thirty-second of an inch, and the holes don't fit exactly on top. In that case, what you have to do is get a Dremel tool and expand the holes. Don't try to force it because these panels are fragile and then they'll crack again. So you'll have to do this all over again. Okay, and we remove our last screw, like so. And now we tilt this panel forward. We'll move it here, see if there's anything stuck there. Looks like the video cable can be loosened out, like so. And now there's only one cable connected to here. So what we have to do, it's secured by tape. Lift up this tape, like so, and lift up the yellow tape too. Remove the yellow tape, put it to the side, and just pull the connector out. Just like so. And it comes right out. And let's take a look at the panel. This is what our panel looks like. So this is a 15.6 inch slim LED panel. Let's look at the part number. The part number, let's see if we can get a good focus. The part number we want to look at is LP156WH3TLA2. That's what you type into your eBay or Google search to find it. Now, whenever you buy a slim replacement screen, make sure there's always a picture of it because sometimes the mounting tabs are here or in a different location and occasionally the connector can even be in a different location. So make sure the mounting tabs and the connector are in the same location when you do buy it. Now the other th problem that I have found before is this is an Acer Aspire 5745. It's hard to see it, but it's an Acer Aspire 5745. If you go on eBay and do a search for Acer Aspire 5745 screen, they won't tell you it's a slim screen, and sometimes when you order one, they'll send you the wrong screen. So you can't trust it going by the model number. You have to go by the part number of the screen, and you want to have a picture of the screen before you order it to make sure it looks like this. Now the other thing, it's a glossy screen. So most of the screens out there are glossy screens, but make sure it says glossy. And when you get it here, put it in, make sure everything fits. Uh, try not to force it because these are slim and they crack a lot more easily. So if you force something and screw it in, chances are it'll crack a couple months down the road. And then uh, put it in and put the frame back on and you're done and your computer should be as good as new. Okay, uh, thank you very much.